Welcome back and thank you very much for your commitment to the show. We are running till 10 a.m. A uh, lot of conversations that are coming up. Be uh, anticipatory of the conversation with the uh, chairman of the National Commission for Civic Education later in the show and many others as well. Sports will be after the paper review. But right now, let's look at the front page stories. The daily graphic says the eastern region is set on development path with graphics spotlight. Dasibra Professor Otibuatin uh, says that government to cancel PDS pact committed to private participation and thousands rendered homeless in Upper East after torrential rains. The Ghanaian Times. Official, official, government chooses replacement of PDS, opts for termination of contract with ECG. Veep calls for political politics devoid of tribal sentiments and fake lawyer busted. The banner headline says, Dr. Awal charges teachers and parents. Stop abysmal BEC WASI results in the northern region. Don't you see SSP as bargaining tool in cocoa sector, the CRI? The Finder newspaper, poor Wasi BC results disturbing. Dr. Wal challenges stakeholders in Northern Ghana to end it. Government donates 50,000 uh, relief items to flood victims and PDS deal cancelled. Restrictive tender to select new concessionaire by December 31. National security denies Mohammed's Asuchari training claims. BNFT, don't tinker with Coco sustainability program bright appear of child rights international and investors convert uh, covert construction infrastructure se uh, sector the daily guide is a final one for this morning it says government aborts pds deal after bruhaha bloody weekend 16 killed in gory accidents fake lawyer busted and don't betray ghana rawlings says to Minus. My guest this morning is the Honorable Pius Enam Hajide, who is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana, and also the Honorable Adam Mutawakilu. He is a Member of Parliament for the Damongo constituency and has won a bid to contest one more time in 2020. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. And how are we? Pius, it's been a while. Yes. How it's have you been? Be good to be here. Yes. How have you been? Uh, very good. Right. Been very good. Very busy. Mm. Uh, running around the country trying to explain uh, the change that has been happening mm. uh, ever since uh, this administration took over. Mm. Uh, also ex explaining the challenges that were uh, inherited. Mm. Uh, Dumso, for instance, uh, GDP at a mega 3.7%, mm. uh, industry growing in the negative, agriculture not doing too badly. Mm. Mm. Today, Industry is growing at over 15% okay. thereabout. Mm -hmm. Agriculture has picked up. Uh, kind can planting for food and jobs. And the several other interventions uh, that this government has brought into the agriculture sector. Uh, today the lights are on. There is stability. Uh, inflation is uh, taking a nosedive. It's coming down. Uh, companies and industries are now able to plan uh, into the longer term much more than uh, a few years back. And, and so we have been very busy uh, trying to explain to the people of Ghana what their tax monies uh, are being used for. The roads uh, that we were once told mm. that were fixed. And if you dared question the state of the roads at the time, uh, it was suggested to you that you may have been sleeping. Mm. Now it is true that we have seen that the roads were not fixed after mm. all. And even if they were fixed, the fact that they have deteriorated to this extent uh, in under uh, two or three years mm. is an indictment on quality of work that was done. Uh, but uh, to a very large extent, mm. uh, what is on the ground is actually very different from what was in the Green Book. And so we have had to explain mm. all of this to the people of Ghana. And it's taking a bit of, of, of our time. Right. That's how come you haven't what, seen me. What, what is the government's standard of governance? Is it what you say is the abysmal performance of the NDC in the past time? Or we're looking at a bigger picture? No. I mean, uh, the standard is meeting the, the, the aspirations of the people. It's the people who are the, the, the ultimate judges. Uh, on our performance. And so when we say uh, abysmal 
uh, performance of the NDC, we are only, only reflecting the sentiments of the people of, mm -hmm. on the ground. When you go out, this is what the people say. Okay. I mean, that uh, they have seen the improvements mm -hmm. uh, in their lives. Today, mm -hmm. uh, their children are able to go to secondary school. Uh, at the end of this year, 1.2 million mm -hmm. Ghanaian children will be going to school without their, their parents uh, paying uh, the huge monies in school fees. And, and so when we say the abysmal performance is not our judgment, we do not have that mandate, we do not have that understanding. We are reflecting the sentiment of the people uh, and, 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 and that's what it is. Arbo, do, do you feel the change that's happening all around you? What Pius has just been explained to <coughs> us. You were laughing. Yeah. Why are you laughing? You see, when you talk of change and uh, what the president could do is to go and uh, assure contractors that, oh, your work has stopped. Oh, it will start soon. Mm. And you tell me infrastructure going on. And the minister for road warning anybody who criticized the president, I'll repackage your contract. Then you tell me that things are going well. Mm -hmm. Two, if you talk for planting for food and jobs and even rice importation is mm -hmm. 1.2 billion, mm -hmm. then you are a joker. As far as uh, this economy mm -hmm. is concerned, go to the ordinary Ghanaian and ask how the situation was <coughs> and how the situation is now. Propaganda cannot take us anywhere. The inflation and economy uh, GDP growth, we all know that is uh, oil GDP. But it's happening under there. No, let me count, let me count. It's oil. When you come to the real GDP growth, it's not true. please, let me, let me also well, I like You realize there is no much different. Do you get my point? Mm -hmm. At point, NDC time performed better in the real thing. Oil, why? The oil growth which in real sense, mm -hmm. we are not being, it's not being felt because GDP takes into consideration gross production. To, uh, 2016, the revenue from oil mm -hmm. was a little over 900 million Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. 2017, 2.3 billion mm -hmm. Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. 2018, 4.5 billion Ghana cities. 2019, they are expecting 6 billion Ghana cities <coughs> revenue. And it is clear per the media review, it's oil driven. So it is not impacting on the ordinary lives of the people. So if you come out and you start talking about GDP, mm. when you go to the market woman, you realize. But the figures are coming down, aren't they? That is what I'm saying. It's about real life, impact on the real life of the people. Mm. It is not reflecting. And that is what I'm saying. It is an amorphous figure mm. where majority is foreign driven. Now, if you talk about uh, so many projects, going, mm. take one village, one dam, go to my place. You dug four dams. All of them have gone. Rains, wash away. Really? I'm telling you, go to Piri. Mm. The Piri one, it was already an existing dam. You came and con uh, constructed a spillway mm. and just dump ordinary sand. You didn't even compact it. The first rain wash it away. <coughs> Go to uh, Mohonore, it's gone. Go to Murugu, it's gone. Then you are here ranting. Why are contractors complaining they are not being paid? Okay. Please. <laughs> thank you. You have to be <laughs> thank you have to thank, be realistic. Thank you very much. These I mean, were just I mean, preliminary no, are, comments. I agree, I agree. But I think that it is instructive that today yeah. mm -hmm. at least Honorable is go, is giving us a litany of the dams that he claims are being washed away. Mm -hmm. A few a few months ago, the argument was that the dams were not being constructed mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. at all. Now he's given a long list you know. of the dams that actually are being contracted, but now the argument is that they are being washed away. Honorable, if you are contracting, constructing a dam, mm. you are excavating uh, mm. earth. Okay? In, in the process of the excavation, when it rains, you will see some so-called washing away. These things take time no. uh, to properly no. firm up. He construction says, of no. an no. earth dam. You have the construction, the I'm saying that construction of an earth dam. The dam do not mm. exist but again. There I'm, is no, no water. I'm saying that the dams, it's raining now. Mm. No. It's raining it is, way, it very heavily too. Right. Right. But mm. if, no. I'm, say, I'm saying that dams by their nature, earth mm. dams by their nature, the science is that it will take at least four years mm. 
for the proper sedimentation to occur because it's an F dam. It's not like an Akosombo dam or a Bu dam and all that. But the good thing is that at least we have confirmation. But 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 yeah. senior, mm. you see, there's data on the the growth of the economy. Okay, I'm saying that today non-oil GDP growth is more than oil GDP growth today. Okay, so it's not correct. Which In 2018, mm -hmm. the uh, non-oil uh, GDP growth is 5.8. As against oil GDP, GDP growth of 5.6. Is this the, the data is here. This gas service Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Right. The data is here. No. So it cannot be correct. In any case, mm -hmm. they also had oil within their time. Within that time, within your time, what was the what was the what was the situation? They said the quantum the quantum has increased. The they said the quantum has increased now, Pius. In 2014, their overall growth in 2014 was 2.9. The non-oil was 2.7. Mm. Okay, then in 2015, their overall growth of two was 2.2. Mm. The oil growth was 2.2. So it was their oil growth that account, that what that was what all it was. Mm. Now, if you come to the MPP, you notice that it was only in 2017 that the overall. Even look at even in 2017. Oh no, but the data is all here. In 2017, mm. the overall was 8.1, and non-oil was 4.6. There was a huge ma me, margin. So, so, we, so, so Pius, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you will get your... But, Pius, that, that's why I asked you the very first question, that what is your standard as a government? Is it in comparison with what the NDC did, which <coughs> the people of Ghana said, look, we're kicking you out and bringing a new government? Are they your standard? Well, to the extent that they, they seek to create the impression that they were better managers, we want to remind them that they are the worst managers of... The economy in our country. How, do, how does the ordinary Ghanaian benefit? But the point is that. How does the ordinary Ghanaian benefit already. from that? From I, that uh, but he's here, yeah, he's, he's speaking for the NDC, mm -hmm. so I'm responding to him directly. But for mm -hmm. us, we are saying that the ordinary Ghanaian mm -hmm. is the ordinary Ghanaian is the mm -hmm. ultimate judge, and they set the standards. And as far as we are concerned, mm -hmm. we have a social contract with the people, and we are committed in. Uh, uh, we are committed to. Uh, fulfilling the contract that we have with, with, with the people. But it is important that from mm. time to time, mm. when the NDC proceeds as though mm. they were better managers, mm. my brother, we need to remind them okay. that they have been the worst Remind that well, sir. Now, I see the Honorable Sherry. So so but, but these are dams. Of the dams. These are dams you claim were not being constructed. No, if you, these are dams you claim were not being constructed. Allow him to have his day as well. That is where we come to the issue. Right. You take 250. I asked the question on behalf of the MP for Bole mm -hmm. about the, the dam. dams. You, and the minister said it's 250,000 Ghana cities. Okay. Per, you, per one. Per one. <laughs> you go and construct a dump of 250,000 Ghana cities. One rain, the whole thing is wash away. And you tell me, but you ask me, I should construct that. It's just like they're promising, you, uh, Nana Kufuado promised Ghanaians. Mm. That, oh, the economy will be better. Then he does anything and says, better, I promise you. Or you promise your girlfriend, I will give you a car. And when you accept proposal, you bring a toy car. And say, better, it's a car. <laughs> no, no. What you need is a car. Okay, This Thank is you. financial loss. Let me just add yes, the last Yes, wrap, wrap up. <laughs> Mention me. one great intervention you have done in the power sector okay. that has revolutionized the power sector. Without credentials, not one. I'll give you. I'll, no, one. I'll give you a long list. Not be one. it generation, no, 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 be no, it but, transmission, but, be but it I'm distribution, say, I'm, I'm be that. it liquidity. Yes, liquidity. Liquidity. I will start from liquidity. What, what did you? What, I'll, I'll, what I'll start you from liquidity. And I'll okay, also so tell allow, you, allow him to answer your question. And I also and I also give you the exam the example of moving the 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 the, 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 the car power ship from Tema mm. to to the west. It makes much more economic sense. Common sense would actually indicate to you that. Where the natural resource is 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 is, is found, mm. that is where you put your pr production. Right. It is it is say SHS one economics. <laughs> but for for personal gains, mm. for personal gains, the NDC decided to put the car power ship here in Tema mm. and evacuate the natural resource from Western region, mm. which is a cost, additional right. cost. Mm. You okay, the, you see the uh, the but ignorance of uh, well, okay. acknowledging. Ex explain now, it. explain it in twenty. This will be the last the ambition. The NDC brought car power to 225 megawatts. Mm. It was an emergency right. program. 
The gas at the West, mm -hmm. ENI was not operating. Right. So it started negotiating for 450 megawatts to move to Takrade, mm. then this one goes back. <laughs> okay. You came to power, you know the critical <coughs> car power took it to Supreme mm. Court and mm. lost. Mm. When you came to power, you brought the 450 back to Tema. Tema. Instead of sending it to Takrade mm. when the gas was already available by then, <laughs> you brought the 450 to Tema. <laughs> Instead of sending it there, then today you sit down. The strategy of the Mama was that what, what once you, it what? was emergency mm. and uh, construction at Tema was easy to <laughs> evacuate, let's do it. While ENI was still developing the field, okay. by 2017, when the 450 that was that was coming to replace, Let, then you swap it. It will just go straight to Tema, and this goes back. You but came this, and this brought is, the 450 is, back to is, Tema. This is okay. Quite, please, this is, okay. This is let's, let's, let's make progress. Let's, 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 let's make progress. Let's make progress. Let's make progress. Okay. You, 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 you join you the conversation <laughs> on <laughs> WhatsApp zero two zero two one six 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 three three. You know what we have been. Let's 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 move on. I beg you. Bias, let's move on. You know why they left Tema? Page sixteen. Page sixteen of the Daily Graphic this morning is reporting that some. 26,083 people, uh, 10,890 of them being children, have rend been rendered homeless following the continuous rainfall in the Upper East Region. Uh, the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, which confirmed the figures, also said the death toll from the rain disaster was 19, as at the last count. The region uh, experienced torrential rains between October 1 and October 11 this year, leading to... Uh, flooding, collapse of buildings, structures, deaths, and destruction of properties and displacement. This is a story by uh, Vincent Amenuveve in Bogatanga. Okay, so the vice president also has announced that some 50,000 um, worth of relief items have been distributed. Pius, must we go over this cycle over and over again, especially when we know that, for example, the topography of that place is low, it rains heavily, people's homes are washed, it becomes an, an annual narrative. Must we go over this over and over again? Can't we have a solid lasting solution that can save life, property? Well, uh, thank you very much. Like uh, the chief of one of the communities that is affected, mm. uh, Dr. Atupari, said when His Excellency, uh, the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, visited them, mm. Uh, this is a natural disaster, right. and uh, natural disasters occur. I mean, all over the world, uh, even in the developed ec uh, economies, we have seen the occurrence of natural disasters. Uh, what is important is that what preemptive uh, steps do we take mm. to uh, remove completely, or at best minimize casualty mm. uh, when these disasters occur. Mm. And uh, the honest truth is that today, NADMO has been repositioned. Uh, NADMO now has access to uh, a UN system. Mm. In the past, they had to assess you they, and, and, and admit you to be able to assess uh, uh, data mm. that the UN has put together using the CNES. Mm. Uh, we are now roped in on that platform. So. Uh, we were quite aware, Nadmo was quite aware, and also did some public education mm -hmm. on the torrential rains that we are uh, going to, or, or we are experiencing mm -hmm. around this time. Uh, some evacuation uh, and relocation happened, uh, but some of the people obviously didn't move. Uh, we have some casualties. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that about 19 people 19, uh, yeah. have, have been reported dead. Mm -hmm and uh, several others rendered homeless. Mm. Uh, it's important that we uh, show our sincere commiserations with the families of the bereaved and also to empathize uh, with the several thousands who have been displaced. Okay. But like should happen, NADMO was very much at the front of the search and rescue operations. Mm. They actually also identified some safe havens and moved people and into that, that's where my problem is nadmo's mandate includes first of all to prevent disaster from happening and i do not accept that this is uh, a natural disaster because the vice president says the government is doing everything to construct the polugu uh, multi-purpose dam if this had been done we wouldn't have had the flooding and we know 
how the Bagri Dam is spilled over year on year. It will happen again. And we don't have a dam to even receive the water. So we could have solved it if we had a plan that anticipated what was going to happen. Because the rains will come. No, in and, the I, general... and I'm saying that we've been cherry-picking the issues. Don't no, you? we have not. I, 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 mean, I mean, historically, maybe we have. Uh, but at this material moment, we are not. Uh, we do not have to continue bemoaning the situation and we could have prevented some of the fallouts of these disasters. Mm -hmm. I agree. But if earlier governments w were responsible, mm -hmm. it takes time to build a Pualugu dam. Mm -hmm. It takes time to conceive the idea, to negotiate the funding for it. And I think that we should be excited that we have a government today that is committed to constructing the Pualugu dam. And this is a government this that is, is barely... Promise. No, this is not a promise. I mean, work has been done. It's been promised by the vice president. Mm. At least, we have the word of the, the establishment to hold. I mean, in the past. Mm. And, and it takes time. Even if you start the construction of the dam, mm. spillages will still occur. In, 20, in 2017, just, sorry, in 2017, when the Bagri Dam was built over, remember? Yes. When farms and homes and properties were destroyed. Yes. We had a vice president suggest yes. that we're going to have a dam yes. that will receive it. Yes. 2018, 2019. Absolutely. No show. No, no. We have not, we have not, unless you want to make me believe that we have source for funding, we, we have thought about the architecture we, of the we dam. Have. We, we have. We have. Com communities are being engaged, mm. even with relocation. I'm saying to you that we have moved far. I'm saying that, you talked about 2017, 2018. Right. The Pualugu Dam, uh, the Bagri Dam was there since days of yore. Okay. okay? Governments have come and gone. But I'm saying to you that my, my take would be that, honestly and sincerely, we should, once we bemoan the situation, be commending the current government for finding the solutions. We are the ones who are solving the police, the, uh, finding the solution. It doesn't mean that at the stroke of a pen or with the flip of, of the hand, then the, the, the Polugu Dam will spring up. How many it years does time. it take to put it together takes, a dam? It takes time to... Look, we don't have resources waiting to, to, be, to be used ad infinitum. Mm. We have to go and find the money. It has to be planned. You, even the designs, you have to bring in technical so three people. Three years have we found the money? I just, I'm repeating myself again to okay, you okay. that we have found the money, we have done the feasibilities, we have the drawings, and I believe that, the, like the, pre, the, the, president, the vice president has promised, before this year ends, okay. construction of the dam will commence. Okay. I like but, but, but this matter, but this, this, this disaster... Mm. It's not a consequence of the, 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 the spillage of the Bagri Dam. No, no, no. It is this not. is the, this the, the is torrential so, rain. So, yeah, it's torrential rain. Yes. But in, in this instance, the vice president is also saying that if we had the Polugu multipurpose dam, this could have been prevented because then we'll have somewhere to channel the water through so it doesn't sit where it is. And you know that most of the houses there are mud houses. And so a, a little rain and heavy and water settles there. It comes crashing down. And I, I, maybe if my father question to you, about the evacuation centers. You said Nadmo have moved them to safe places. <coughs> and these safe places are temporary. Yes. Do we have to go back to this every time? I'm asking this because <laughs> we watch American movies. We see that they have permanent evacuation centers with blankets, <laughs> warm meals, psychologists, and all of that, including security. What are we doing? That's why I ask you, what is our standard? Okay, it is one thing what we watch in the movies and it is one thing what the reality on the ground is. Mm. Uh, I am not aware that we build permanent uh, evacuation centers in anticipation of the rains. We do mm. not control the rains. Mm. And these things don't happen every time. It's not just rain, fire, everything. Well, so they will be built where? In every district or every village? Because even if... Even if it's built one per region, mm. and the thing is happening, for instance, around the Kasina Nankana area, and this thing was, mm. for instance, in somewhere else, what are you going to do? I think that the, the practical thing is that it could have been built, permanent evacuation centers, I don't know. Mm. Now, Nadmo advises us that they have uh, identified locations such as churches, mm. and they have moved people into them. Uh, policies, they have moved people into them and so on and so forth. This is an emergency response. Mm -hmm. It happens all over when these things happen. And I think we should commend them. Relief items have also been sent. But there's one thing I actually, actually also forgot. The NDC issued a statement mm -hmm. and they commiserated with the people. And I was happy about it, that at least for once, 
uh, we are showing empathy mm. uh, to the people and holding hands as Ghanaians. Then in the same sen sentence, the pedal force ruled that uh, the law that they passed, mm. which uh, uh, established a disaster fund, uh, we are not implementing it. Is it true? But the disaster fund has been established. Is it true? That what? The disaster fund. It's been established. They have two operational accounts. One at the Bank of Ghana and one at the consolidated, uh, 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 CBG, CBG. Co okay. uh, consolidated Bank, Bank Ghana. Ghana. Two yeah. accounts running, operational. The sources of income identified in the law are finding revenue for the fund. Do we but know they... how much is in there? No, no, no. no okay. I don't. Right. I don't Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take a bite on this one. I um, sympathize with my brothers and sisters in the north. Uh, every year we have these torrential rains and we have quite a lot of flooding. Mm -hmm. And uh, as politicians, we must be very, very frank. Mm -hmm. And it's not propaganda all the time that uh, makes the point because you'll be exposed mm -hmm. in, due, in due course. And it's when we politicians then goes mm -hmm. and instead of recounting what we promise, and we didn't execute, mm. we forget. You realize that a few years ago, was it 2017 or 18? Right. It happened. Mm. And the vice president was there and delivered expired uh, disaster relief items. You want to go back it to was very clear. No, it's good to put it in rock. <coughs> they were expired right. and was exposed. And they admitted that that, 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 was, was, that was the feeling of not more to have ensured that now, they were given to the no, vice president no. who doesn't work there. He doesn't is get ultimately it. responsible oh who delivered God. it in. Oh my God. We have to be very frank. But there are people who are don't, that not Don't both. shift blame. I'm not shifting. I'm just, I'm just uh, saying, shift honorable, I'm just saying that if you come here on my set mm -hmm. and I offer you a cup of milo that mm -hmm. is expired. Mm -hmm. It is not your job to know that the mill is it's me. No, the no, blame no, 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 no. Or doesn't it? They blame your management, the top, the one who brought you here. Okay. Are you getting my point? So you are blaming the president. You are supposed president. to work for, and if you are properly monitored and ensure that you do the right thing, you would have given me the right without not uh, the expired one. Okay. So that is what we must know. So we like taking off. So we must put it on record, and it is clear that he went and delivered expired <laughs> relief items mm. and admitted it. Now, few years <laughs> down the lane, when you went, you should have told them what you have done and what is practically happening. Mm. You went and gave fifty thousand worth of relief items. Not worth. Now let's 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 look at the population that has been displaced mm. vis a vis the relief items. I think that this is a mockery. Over 26,000 mm. people have been displaced. You've sent 50,000 wet. How much should no, they have sent? So that may, they say per, per head. No, no. It's 1.9 no, no, CDs. You got it wrong. It is relief items mm. plus 50,000 no. CDs cash. Let's take the 50,000 CDs cash. Um, but okay. it's not worth of. That's what you said. Let's take, it. So let's take the 50,000. So items... And then Some there items, is money. Yes. That's right. Yes. The 50,000 CDs cash, if you take it, 26,000. Mm. So that means each person will get two CDs at the end of the day. <laughs> no, I'm just taking that, okay. that proportion. I'm assuming that every person gets equally okay. two CDs. What can two CDs do today? Two, my brother said the, pro uh, the vice president had promised. Mm. He promised by 20, 2018, every Ghanaian will have a bank account. And we all know the president, Nana Kufuado, mm -hmm. his boss, and our president, is what we call what, King, what, what, King what, Promise. What, 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 what is, is the relevance? When, no, that is... When is, his, his, when is this no, uh, I'm, bank I'm, account? Hold, hold I'm, does said, the vice president open bank account? Said, oh, the vice president he said it. it. You, said, you made a statement. You the, made the a vice statement president made a promise. Once the president had... Vice President had promised it to be fulfilled. Right. And I'm telling you that he promised that by 2018, mm. every Ghanaian will have a, an account. What was the relevance it hasn't to happened. this conversation? So his statement that the, president, uh, the Vice President had promised okay. and therefore it will happen mm. is a fallacy. He we says, now let's go to the family. Let me come. Let me come. Money. I'm now on. coming to that. Piazzo. It says they have gotten funding come. and the architecture is, is being looked at the come. drawings. Let me come. And so, I'm coming rest, to that. rest assured. This Palugu Dam, the visibility studies, mm. was done by President Mahama. I'm part of the Mines and Energy Committee. Okay. 
Now, this government had come and he's really looking at it, saying that funding had been secured is inaccurate. What? Telling us that at the end of this year, what? construction will start no, but it is, is inaccurate. How, so what how, is, what, do, you what know? how do you know? So what is accurate? But, but, but means, okay. for me. How do okay. you know? Yes. You don't believe the government official? Briefings we had yes. from VRA mm. and other state agencies. The work is in place, but as to security funding and constructing starting by end of year is not possible. No, mm. I'm understand. telling you. And you is wait, it, December, I'll ask mind? you the same. No. Or, or VRA said to you that I'm they can't start that, construction. I'm saying that construction cannot start. But you said work by, is in progress. What no, work? I said we did feasibility studies. Okay. No. How long Under ago? President How long ago? Under President Mahama. When you came, you continued. Mm. I've not had a disagreed. So what's your point of difficulty the, with the, the commencement point is of that the, he the said by the end of secured funding, I'm saying that that is not true. No construction will start by end December. You market. wish. You wish. No. no you that's see, how you guys be, are. We must you, be you, factual. You don't wish this country see, well. But, we but must be inshallah, factual. inshallah, it will start. These are facts. But, but he says you there's money. Inshallah, there's money. Inshallah, there's money. Inshallah, I don't. It's not factual. Do you have contrary you see, evidence to prove that there's You can't be doing no drawing when you secured Funding. No. Okay. The drawing. He just said they are doing the drawing. Mm. You do the drawings. That is where the, the final decision of is All taken. of these have been done and completed. You just told us that they, were, they are doing the construction. They have done. So I'm telling you that the briefings we have, and we'll be meeting VRA and okay. other state Let, Let's make this progress. Uh, this time, time. propaganda of assuring the people, I say that the vice president has promised, is not factual. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the government has, uh, if you like, cancelled the PDS uh, so deal. See, in and, November. Uh, they, 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 that's, that's the news that hits. Construction will start. That's the news that hit us uh, over the weekend. I think it started on Friday. And quickly, Pius, could we have avoided all of this? Which I mean, uh, the PDS deal. Could we have avoided all the drama, if you like, and especially with the hard stance that government communicators took trying to explain it over and over again. And I'm reading details, portions of, of the story as put together by Senior Evans Daku, for example, and it, it, it mentions that the finance minister um, said the government remained strongly committed to the Ghana Power Compact and private sector participation of the country's energy sector. It goes further down to say, it said the government's decision to terminate the PDS concession was based on two key points. Thus, the meeting between CEO of MCC and President Akufuado uh, in September 23, on September 23 in the New York, USA, produced an understanding that the existing concession would be discontinued and a concession restoration and restructuring plan would be executed within existing timelines before 31st December 2019. Secondly, said the facts uncovered by the forensic audit justified the discontinuation of the current concession but should not diminish the government's commitment to private sector participation in the energy sector. Investigations also revealed that the local sh shareholders of the PDS concession funded $11.5 million of the $12.5 million uh, payments it made to procure the demand guarantees using funds taken <laughs> from operating accounts. So they took our money to pay what they said they were coming to inject. I'm asking, could we have avoided all of this drama? In spite of the fact that we wanted to promote local business or participation. Well, I think that at this point, uh, we should be focusing uh, on the way forward uh, and moving away from what appears to me to be destructive partisan uh, discussion on this matter led essentially by our dear friends in the NDC. Uh, the background uh, is known, so I don't want to bore our viewers. But you recall that the MPP inherited the discussions about private sector participation in the energy sector. Mm -hmm. At that time, the talk was that 80% uh, was supposed to go to foreigners and at least 20% was supposed to be for uh, Ghanaians mm. and uh, this government took a different uh, position that believing in uh, what the people of Ghana uh, can do and have shown capacity mm. to actually have done on the ground 
and with the view to developing our own and building capacity here mm -hmm. locally, we should rather be Ghanaians should rather be majority shareholders. Did we do and it we, right and, in and giving we, the 51% and we, and we, of... And we pushed, and we pushed and got the Americans to concede that indeed, like they do in America, it is important that Ghanaians own majority shares in did, did this we do, Did we do it right? We did it right. There was a MIDA uh, that is an uh, uh, autonomous uh, agency of state with huge American uh, interest in there. Mm. Uh, that led the process. The MIDA had uh, a transaction advisor okay. uh, that had uh, the duty to do due diligence and all of those. And they reported that they had done due diligence. Mm. Government on its own, acting through its agencies, mm. its government-owned and controlled agency, the ECG, mm. also sought to further interrogate the matter. And so it was a government institution itself, the ECG, mm. that uh, 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 identified the, the challenge. Mm. And what did, any, what did government do? Any responsible government would have acted in the manner the MPP acted. Move quickly to secure the strategic national asset, mm. the ECG. And so we suspended the, uh, 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 the uh, distribution license that was given uh, to the PDS. Mm. And, and it reverted back to the, to, to the ECG. And we started investigations. And I said to you that MEDA semi-autonomous, you, you notice that when government was, was conducting its own investigation, mm -hmm. MEDA, on the other hand, was conducting another investigation. You are aware of that, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be said that government and MEDA are one and the same. Otherwise, they will not be uh, conducting two different investigations. Okay. The reports are out. We are quite clear in, in our minds what the findings were. Mm -hmm. And we have, through several fora, and through several means, communicated our desire to have this matter resolved. Now, what has happened over the last couple of days is that mm. government has taken a firm decision mm. that we believe that uh, something fundamentally wrong happened and that we believe that we have to take a second look at what, the What PDS. took us so long? Even, take, even, after, so even after we sent a delegation to go investigate, they came, they brought the report, we saw the FTIS report. We knew that there was something wrong. Yes. And it's taking us for September, October, and we're wrapping up and to, to make a decision. What took us so long? Well, I, I don't believe it's too long, uh, but if you may, uh, we are not working in isolation. We are not an island. There, there's a compact mm -hmm. that is behind all of this. It involves another foreign state, mm -hmm. the Americans. It involves the Millennium Challenge Corporation. And so there has to be a lot of discussion and negotiation. Mm -hmm. That takes time, you understand. And so this government has been very busy, including His Excellency, the President himself, mm -hmm. Moving to meet with Mr. Ken Cross, who is the, the head of the, MCC. Uh, the, of the MCC. So a lot of work has been happening, and a lot of work ought to have happened. It's not something you unilaterally uh, uh, just take a decision. But by on September 23, when the president met, met uh, the boss at MCC, then he knew that this deal had to go. What, the and president I'm saying, knew. Be, yes. Yes, the between, president was convinced. Exactly. Now, between September 23 <coughs> and, and now, what took so long? What was happening in between? Do we know? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm deputy minister of information. And, and so, uh, I, I So am, you are supposed I, to I, have information. But, well, but I'm saying to you that there was, there was, in, there was several discussions ongoing. Mm. Okay? The position of the Americans, did they want it gone? Mm. And so on and so forth. How are we able to stand our own against mighty America? Mm. And that's why I, at this point, want to invite our brothers in the NDC. Let's hold hands. This is not the time to do partisan politics with a view on winning elections. This is the time to ensure that our sovereignty as a country drains. We have a situation where today we are going to have to stand up to, 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 to mighty America and, and its agencies. Did the government get it wrong? No, government didn't get it. Have we lost anything? No, we haven't. We haven't lost no, we at haven't. all. Okay. Adam, uh, yeah, step in for me. They, they, finally, the government says, look, we have done what is right. We have cancelled the deal. No, we have. We, 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 the cancellation of the deal is a process. Okay. We have communicated our decision to cancel. Okay. The, the, the proper cancellation will, the but process it, but will, it will happen. The I agree. The, 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 the termination one is out. Right. No, that's, a, that's a letter of intent. No. 
then you've said you've terminated it and you want to within the next three months. Mm. If you haven't, why are you looking for, for, for a replacement? Let, but let me, let me start. This compacts didn't start now. Mm. The compact one was under uh, J. Kufu. Venerable, Venerable J. Kufu. Yes. Now, he didn't finish and President Mills came. President Mills mm. continued mm. with where former President Kufu had left. Mm -hmm. That led to the construction of the N1 highway. Okay. And commissioning it, mm. pros, uh, President Mills invited pres former President Kufo okay. to be part of it. Same way, President Mama secured the Compact 2 mm. of $198 <coughs> uh, million. Dollars mm. And had started the process, request for proposals, mm. request for those quantities has been gone through. Six companies were shortlisted. Mm. Then President Nana Okufuado came to power. And as he indicated, 20% mm. Ghanaian ownership. Mm. He moved it to 51. Made the 51% Ghanaian ownership condition precedent. Mm. That means that the companies must first of all get the 51 right. before you can proceed to the next stage. Okay. As a result, four of these international companies dropped off. Mm. Why? It was, they didn't want to work with Ghanaians? No. They said get the company, uh, the Ghanaian partners before you can proceed to the next level. So say you that is what out. we say condition precedent. Mm. They could have said, okay, Let's move ahead, but you look for 51 Ghanaian ownership. So that's why I said it's condition precedent. Mm. It was left with two companies, BXC and Miralco. Right. BSC was disqualified on the grounds mm. that they had information because they had worked for ECG, but did not disclose it in their uh, proposal. Their bid, right. Yes, their bid. As a result, it ended up in court, they lost. And it was left with Miralco. Then government changes its position. That is why I say where government is complacent. Mm. That, okay, you can even go for the approval before you look for your local partners. And in their concession that came, mm. if they didn't get the local partner, they were given up to December uh, last year mm. to get the local partners. You see clearly government working towards a particular company. To what end? Now, now two. To no. what end? Government had an interest in that. They had an interest. I'm building the interest. Allow, allow him pass. I'm building you the have interest. Your, your this is speculation. We allow can't. I'm, I'm building the interest. Okay. What is it? When the uh, agreements came, we have the lease and assignment agreement. Okay. We have the bulk supply agreement. Mm. And we have the government support agreement. In all, the condition precedent, mm -hmm. what the companies were to to meet and government were to meet before we hand over the assets mm. to them mm. were 45. Right. 29 were met. The government said, oh, we'll change the system that has not been met to condition subsequent. And what was wrong with that? Why you are handing over an asset of $4 billion mm -hmm. of our ECG assets? And you don't care whether they meet the condition precedent or not. Two, the most risky one mm. was to make sure that we secure the assets. So there was supposed to be a letter of credit of $350 million. Put it in the accounts, mm. in, a, in a bank, so that when you run our assets and there are problems, we can easily fall on that money. The vice president, upon the instruction of Nana Kufuado, changed how, how it to... Do you, how do you know that? The it? minutes were out there. Okay. In the FTI reports, it's indicated. Let's, let's Converted it to insurance. Let, let's move on. Now it's been cancelled. Now, I, I now the problem but that I, came, I, I I'm is now coming to I the problem. Finished. The problem is about people fronting. What from? Who, who was fronting and for And trying who? to take the ownership of the local partners. Who was fronting for who? It is clear. Put names out. Let me tell you. It is clear. Mm. Uh, and we've had it. The involvement of the finance minister okay. in restructuring the local partners. If you are a finance minister, your interest is for the state, 
not interest in restructuring the local partners. What is your interest? It goes to point out some interest. Where do, we, where do, where do we go from here? Let me tell where, you. Where do we go from this here? This claim has been contradicted. Uh, you no, are still repeating no, no, it. No. Let me tell you why they terminate. Our time is up. Where do we go from here? You were calling for termination. Where do we go from here? What do we do? That do we is punish? very important. Do we punish or do we Today let go? at 10 o'clock, <laughs> right. our great general secretary will be having a press conference. Mm. And it will tell you the direction of the party. Okay. The and party has no direction on this matter. The they are going to peddle forcefully like a, they did a few, this is a few days ago. By the this is an NDC that is keen on, 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 okay. on, this on, is on doing by partisan the president politics. Mm. And but, but the point is wrong. that if you claim that there is an interest and that this government is doing mm. uh, family and friends, this is the same government that is cancelling the deal. Let me tell you. How can the deal? How can anybody with you? Okay. How can you are not getting? Okay, we cannot. We cannot hear. Slow down. Slow down, gentlemen. Slow down, gentlemen. Okay. Okay. So, so just one message. One message. This is where he traps himself. This is where he traps himself. One message. Okay. So your microphones are off. Niama, Niama, Matefio says. How well, can media? Why is this for you? Is this? Is this? How can media be autonomous with these membership? Uh, these are the board members of media, duly constituted by President Kufado. He says one. The voting members are Professor Yah Intiamwa Beidu, who is the chairperson. Honorable John Peter, who is the uh, Energy Minister. Uh, Ken Oforiata, who is Finance Minister. Mr. Charles Idubuahi, who is Deputy Minister of Finance, alternate to the Minister. Honorable Alan Kudutremati, who is Minister for Trade and Industry. And it goes on. Uh, Robert Ahun Kalinsi is there. Mohamed Ibrahim Awal. Uh, Mr. Eliza Safwe J. Honorable Cynthia Morrison, Minister for Gender. Honorable Gloria Kufu. Mr. Martin, and Sean Benjamin, and on and on and on. So he says, with this membership, they cannot, MIDA cannot be. He doesn't made. understand governance. Okay. Corporate governance. MIDA is not another cabinet. But this is where Honorable. Uh, exposes himself. Okay. Honorable well, says that. Thank you. Honorable says that. Thank you. Uh, Let me thank you. Why, thank you to Honorable Pius and Amahajide is a deputy minister for information of the Republic of Ghana. And Honorable uh, Adam Mutawakilo is the member of parliament for the Damongo constituency. Chairman, thank you very much for your time.